RIP 97.9. And right now, I have uh, some special guests with me this morning. Candida Ellis, who is the broker owner, Coldwell Banker Village Green Realty, and Guy Beretta, the chief operating officer of uh, Coldwell Banker Village Green Realty. Good morning. We're here. Good morning, Joe. It's a little chilly this morning, isn't it? I I tell you, my husband called me to tell me he put the heat on in the car this morning. (laughs) Yes, chilly, which... It's okay. Yeah, it feels good. I, I love fall. Anyway, you, but the reason you're here is not to talk about the weather, but uh, wanted to talk about a new office that you opened uh, in Red Hook. Red Hook, New York. That's right. Um, we're we're pretty excited about it. We uh, we opened it a little a little while ago, but uh, you know the COVID thing happened in the middle of our opening, and we're really excited to be back in our offices and functioning somewhat normally, and excited about our new one in Red Hook. So while you're at it, why don't you tell us exactly where it is in Red Hook? Uh, so it's on South Broadway in Red Hook, which is really at the junction of uh, 9 and 199, so we call it the Four Corners. It's a fantastic location. We're right in the center of everything and uh, surrounded by other great businesses, restaurants, art galleries. It's a great spot. It's a lovely place, Red Hook, and that corner I know very well. There's a lot of activity there. So uh, did you have to renovate it? Is it a big renovation? Oh, boy, did we? Yes, it was uh, a, a, a real renovation project for us, which seems to be a theme lately. We're uh, in the process of renovating actually all six of our offices, and, and Red Hook was probably uh, the most significant uh, job. And, yeah, it looks great now. We're, we're really excited about it. we got a beautiful little patio out front to enjoy some of this chilly weather. Mm-hmm. So it's great. The patio is for anybody that wants to come by. We just got our patio furniture and have a, have a cup of coffee with with some of their local agents. All right, that's in Red Hook, of course, at the uh, corner of Routes 9 and 199. Um, so, yeah, I, I, maybe I'll come down there. Uh, I've been down there a lot. Red Hook is a lovely little town. And, uh, I'm down for Heart Scrabble Day. Oh, Heart Scrabble. When is that? It's uh, it's their it's their local uh, it's their their town event that happens uh, every year. I think last year was unfortunately was virtual with everything going on. Of course, here um, they're looking to have events throughout the town, and um, you know we have some surprises for for the local community that we're going to be doing at our office. All right. We're talking to, that's Guy Beretta, who is the uh, Chief Operating Officer of uh, Coldwell Banker Village Green Realty and Candida. Candida Alice, the broker owner of uh, Coldwell Banker Village Green Realty. Now, speaking, you mentioned renovations, renovations in the offices. Now, there's a sign over here in the Wyndham office that says you're undergoing renovations here in the Wyndham office. What's happening with that? Can you fill us in? Sure, I can fill you in. That's true. We are undergoing some renovations. You know, we've been in that great location for... Oh, gosh, going on 16 years now. And uh, I know after uh, we all remember Hurricane Irene, uh, we had a big renovation in that office. And we haven't done much work in there since then. So, you know, in conjunction with our awesome landlords, we're, we're doing a little sprucing up. Um, and, uh, you know, it was a great, great time to do it. It's going on a little longer than we had hoped, but we're, we're getting there. So we should... We should be uh, back in action pretty soon, but we're excited about it. Oh, we'll be looking forward to that. We'll uh, check out the signs and see when you're back open again, which you said it should be in the near future. Well, we're open. I mean, the office itself is undergoing renovations, but I just want to remind everybody oh, yes. that uh, you know, we all of our phone calls are being being forwarded to a, a live person who is is right right in Wyndham, uh, just at a different location, and uh, ready to take all of your calls. And our agents are are excited to answer the phone as usual. The well, only difference is. Can't come in for that cup of coffee that everybody uh, was used to when we, we had the doors uh, open. But we'll, we'll be open shortly here, just a couple more weeks, I think. Uh, I'm sure the people know that they are aware that you guys are open for business, of course. Now We are absolutely open for business and uh, still, still the number one selling company in the county and, and loving it. And, and certainly loving, loving our mountaintop. It's a very beloved office for us. There is a lot of uh, impact. Now, t- talk about that a little bit. Green and Columbia counties, What uh, with the pandemic, I understand the pandemic has had a big, big impact on um, the national market. And Green and Columbia counties, are they beneficiaries of that, too? I mean, for sure. I, I think, you know, all of these wonderful areas that we live in, in the Hudson Valley and certainly in the great northern Catskills and, and Green and Columbia are experiencing... Uh, you know, a, a, a certain influx of, of people wanting to enjoy this amazing lifestyle that we have here. Um, we still have, you know, to, let's be frank, we still have a, a low inventory market. We don't, we're having people stay in their homes historically longer than they have in the past 20 years. 
and certainly prices have appreciated. Um, I will say not to the degree perhaps that they have appreciated in some of the uh, lower counties, but for sure. Um, and, you know, we have a very, very healthy and active market uh, right now in Green and Columbia. I would say that the, the prices have appreciated. The days on, days on market has gone down significantly, not only in Columbia and Green County, but, you know, throughout the Hudson Valley. Mm-hmm. And it really doesn't hurt that Time Magazine just named the Hudson Valley one of the top 100 places in the world. I saw that. We who live in the area, whether it be the Catskills, the Hudson Valley, know that this is a prime area, and a lot of more people are finding out about that, too. Do you think that the uh, pandemic impact is going to fade, and then everything's going to go back to the way it was, or do you think this is now something that's um, going to be ongoing for the, not just the near future, but even farther than that? I I personally don't think you know, I think if buyers are waiting for prices to plummet and sellers are waiting for, you know, another galactic increase, it's, it's not going to happen. I think we have a very stable market. The market is now. Um, the affordability index is still well under the lender standard. People are, banks are lending very responsibly. Mm-hmm. Um, we're creating, a, you know, good sustainable communities with people who really want to live here. And I don't think we're going to see, I, I mean... Look, I wish I had a crystal ball. <laughs> we, we, I, I'm searching for it as we speak under my desk. I can't find it. But all of the, you know, all of the economists and, and our partners at Coldwell Banker, as well as the National Association of Realtors and, and you know, showing time indexes and all the things that we use for statistical data and, and future analysis show us that we are going to stay in this healthy market for the foreseeable future. Um, foreseeable future in our book being probably the next three to five years. You know, that's nice news for not only uh, you guys in the real estate business, but all of us here that have businesses in the uh, communities that we serve, that it's going to continue to grow, and it's going to continue to grow in a good way. What's the most unusual listing that you have right now? I'm curious about that. So we actually we actually have two. Um, the first one is um, Noah's Park Animal Sanctuary. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever been there, Joe, but maybe you went on a class trip back in the day. But, uh, <laughs> but it's uh, in Goshen, New York. Uh, it's an animal sanctuary on 7.4 acres uh, that was established in 1985. So they're looking to sell the entire property. And, um, you know, the animals that they have include wallabies, alpacas, honey bears, porcupines. Honey bears? Honey bears. I want to One honey bear. One honey, honey bears. bears. One honey, honey bear. bear. But uh, so that's, that's a really unique listing. And we're really, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're trying to find the right buyer for that who, you know, can take advantage of uh, <laughs> everything that's in there. And then we also have the, uh, the original St. Bridget's Church on Green Lake Road in Leeds. Uh, that was built in 1878. Um, it's a beautiful, you know, residential property now, and uh, wow, who, would, who doesn't want to live in a beautiful church? It's I mean, one of the years. great things about these areas is, you know, these, uh, you know, reappropriated, amazing, unusual uh, properties. I mean, we have so we have so many, but I mean, those are just a couple. Yeah. That church in Leeds is absolutely beautiful. It's re- really cool. Yeah, that, uh, th- there are a lot of uh, churches that have been converted to uh, residential communities and restaurants and all kinds of things. But um, I would feel, I don't know, me living in a church, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, be sanctified. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, thank you. Let yeah, I, yeah, I understand because I feel a little guilty about whatever. Uh, but anyway, it's been interesting talking to you guys. Anything else you want to add before we have to go? Uh, I just want to add that it's really great to be, you know, back in in our, our offices in Catskill, Red Hook, Wyndham, and, and, you know, all our offices and uh, really seeing everybody in our communities and talking to you. And um, we're just glad to glad to be here, and we're always available to answer any, any questions um, that, you know, people who are in their homes might have about now or about the future. Um, and, you know, we're, we're happy to do that at any time. No strings attached. And one of the things that we like to do to serve the community is to really be a source of information for people. So if anybody ever has a question of any kind, give us a call. All righty. That's uh, that's a good idea. Now, also, if you uh, happen to be in the Red Hook area, these guys have invited you to stop by at their brand new office right there at Route 9 and 199. You won't miss that corner, by the way. It's uh, it's the hopping corner in the town of uh, Red Hook. And stop by and sit on the patio there and have a little, little coffee, right? Right? 
We, got, right. we have good coffee, Joe, and you, you should stop by and visit us. And, and Hard Scrabble Day is an amazing day in, in Red Hook, so if everybody wants information on that, um, okay. they can look it up. I do get down that way once in a while, so when I do, I will be sure to stop by and say hi. Guy Beretta, the Chief Operating Officer of uh, Coba Banker Village Green Realty, and Candida Ellis, of course, the broker owner. Thank you for being with us. You want to throw out a phone number where people can reach you? Sure. So our Wyndham office, uh, give us a call, 518-734-4200, and we will answer right away and be excited to talk to everybody. All righty. Thank you for dropping by this morning. Do Thank you, Joe. We Bye. really appreciate it. All righty. You take care now. Have right. a great day. Bye-bye. You too. And Bye, stay Joe. stay warm. I didn't think I'd say that in August, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> will do. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye.